The Texas Association of Mexican American Chambers of Commerce started in 1975. We've been here for over 45 years. The Texas Association of Mexican American Chambers of Commerce, also known as TAMAC, has come a long way since it was established in the mid 1970s. When it started with just a handful of people, they decided they wanted to get together to have a louder voice, to have more opportunities. There was not many opportunities for Hispanics, Hispanic businesses at that time. Today, Tamak President and CEO Pauline Antone and Chairman of the Board Samuel Guzman are still fighting the good fight and working to make sure opportunities exist for Hispanics. Now, we advocate for over 700,000 Hispanic businesses in the state of Texas. And we also are there to support businesses, to support local chambers. Tamak is an organization who is based with local Hispanic chambers local Hispanic chambers that are made up of businesses, that are made up of sponsors, who are made up of a myriad of, of professionals. Hispanic chambers are usually about 40% non-Hispanics. It's those who care and want to work with the Hispanic community. Tamak is always advocating. Several years ago, the organization worked with the state legislature and was pivotal in getting the historically underutilized business program up and running. Also known as HUB, the mission of the program is to provide assistance to historically underutilized businesses in order to afford these businesses a fair opportunity to participate in the competitive procurement process. We are very prominent at the legislature. Uh, the legislators look to us send this legislation for us to take a look at, to give them our perspective on it, and particularly whether we would be in favor or against it. We also get involved in education issues. Uh, we belong to an education coalition of, of organizations which call us for the same purpose, support, and our perspective on matters. The oldest Hispanic chambers in the nation started in Texas with San Antonio, Dallas, and Corpus Christi. Tamak has even served as an example at the national level. We actually formed uh, the U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce out of, out of, out of, out of the activity of Tamak. And then, and then the, the person that was a Tamak chair at the time became the, the chair of the U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. You get a small group of people together with the same like mind, you can change everything. And that's what it takes in a positive way. And this important and prestigious organization is headquartered right here in Buda. A few years ago, Tamak made the move from Austin to their current office on Main Street. It was the, one of the best things we could do. You pay less, you get more. We're only 10 minutes away from Austin. Uh, we do a lot of work at the Capitol during the sessions and we're about 15, 20 minutes away. Board Chairman Samuel Guzman later moved to Buda from South Austin after spending so much time here for Tamak meetings. He realized he really loved it in Buda. I happened to be going down the street and the man was putting the sign on the, on the house <laughs> at that very time. And so uh, uh, I stopped and we cut a deal. <laughs> and here I am. Tamak has brought Buda some positive attention from all over. Well, now people throughout the state know what Buda is, mm -hmm. where Buda is, and of course we're ambassadors of Buda because we talk it up, you know, wherever we go. And when people say, hey, where's Buda? Well, let me tell you. We have a large conference room that people are able to utilize. It is resources for them. And it doesn't matter on who it is, whether they're a member or not, they're always welcome. We have brought in probably over the time that we've been here, probably several thousand people, introduced them into this community. We have receptions here quite, quite frequently as far as people coming in from all over the state. One of those receptions was for well-known Hispanic actor Pepe Sedna. Tamak also holds yearly conventions which draw large attendance numbers and prominent figures in business, politics, state agencies, and other organizations. Through the years, we've had amazing, amazing people come to speak. We've had governor candidates, we've had Senate candidates, we've had all kinds of candidates. We've been invited to the White House so many times since 1976. 
with President Ford, I believe, and then on through. In addition, Tamak honors outstanding leaders at its annual Women of Distinction Awards luncheon. Indeed, the doctors as a group. Recently, Tamak landed Dr. Anthony Fauci as part of a webinar on COVID-19. Fauci serves as the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and has been one of the lead members of the Trump administration's White House Coronavirus Task Force. Dr. Fauci was an amazing opportunity for us. It was an amazing opportunity for our members and for people to actually hear him and he was speaking directly to them. It wasn't on TV, it wasn't on national TV and answering those questions. He was answering questions that was important to us and to our communities and to our families. A thousand people tuned into that webinar and it, uh, it had the name of Buda, Tamak in Buda. And so just that alone, the marketing value of that <laughs> and the promotion of that for Buda is astronomical. Moving into the future, Tamak has a laundry list of goals, including a continued focus on economic development. And the mission for all of our chambers and for Tamak is to be able to increase the potential and the profitability and the opportunities for businesses. And that is Hispanic businesses throughout. Here in Texas alone, we have over 700,000 Hispanic businesses. While Tamak principally advocates for Hispanic businesses, they are an inclusive organization and the door is open for anyone to join. We work very closely uh, with the African American Chambers of Commerce and the Asian American Chambers of Commerce. And uh, we, we agree what is it that we're going to bring forward uh, to support or not support at the legislature. And our voices are very, very strong. And, and those people that want to join us, and a lot of them do, that are non-Hispanic are completely welcomed. And uh, we, we have a lot of prominent members that are members of, of Tamak and that are non-Hispanic. And uh, you know, that's, that's the uh, world of today. Uh, the more the merrier, and there's a, lot, there's a lot of synergy in those coalitions. And, uh, and I think that it will continue to grow in, in that way. We will always have a prominence uh, and a particular uh, aspect of the organization that's Hispanic, but it's for everybody. Mm -hmm.